Hello, and welcome back to Make and Break. We're here today. Um, I finished up stream yesterday, and I thought, what in the heck am I going to make today? I feel like I've kind of been covering a lot of bases lately, and I've been doing pretty big projects, and I just want a little bit more like portfolio sort of stuff. So uh, today, we're going to make a backpack. We're just going to make a nice, simple little backpack. And of course, it's not going to be nice and simple. It's going to be super hard. But ideally, we're going to make just a backpack, just a chill backpack. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on just a bit of music. Um, oh, and that song, by the way, in case you want to look up that song, it's called Aeoli, uh, like garlic aioli. Um, it's called Aeoli, and it is in YouTube's audio library. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, throw on some reference images. I have a few of them. Uh, I'm not sure where to start. I guess we'll start with the bag. So I'm gonna use this as my reference image. Backpack with a big mouth question mark? What does that mean? I'm just gonna make like a medieval hiking pack, right? Just something simple. If we're looking at this, right? This little guy, this is our backpack. There's definitely some problems with it. There's a knife that's attached to the actual backpack. That would never happen. That's not a thing. All that's asking is for somebody to walk up on you and take your knife from you. Um, it has two axes, which, what? They're not even different kinds of axes. Uh, a backpack that has a big mouth. I think I knew what you meant. <laughs> I just don't think we're gonna do that. Maybe that'll be a little extra thing at the end. We can make a little mouth for the backpack. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at this. Um, a big thing that you see a lot with backpacks is this ladder um, on the back. So let's make that. So I'm gonna start just by doing that. So first off, let's make um, two cylinders. We'll go ahead and make you pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Keep it nice and simple. Oh, not what I wanted. Um, so, you know, before we had modern tech with the ability to like bind things to leathers or anything like that, um, you had these struts on the back of backpacks that would um, hold a bunch of separate bag-like objects together. And that's how we're gonna do this. <clears throat> you didn't necessarily have like a backpack backpack. You had a modular thing where everything plugged in. Um, and that's exactly what we want to achieve here today. Um, I probably should round off the ends of this or fluff them up a little bit, but otherwise, pretty business as usual. Um, so we'll go ahead and put in a mirror modifier on camera, I guess. Sure, that'll be the way we do it. And then we'll add some struts. And the struts are gonna be easy. We're just going to array modifier them. They're gonna be nice and easy. And then we're gonna have to put straps on this guy. And the straps are going to really be the part that sells this design. But beyond that, it's pretty standard. Pretty standard fare. So I'm just gonna do this part as quick as I can because this is definitely the least interesting part of the bag. This is the part that has to exist for the sake of being legitimate, but definitely not the part that we're gonna enjoy making. So just a couple little struts, simple as that. I could round these out as well, but we'll worry about that later. And we'll go for it. Um probably don't need to sit too far off the bottom of this, but for the sake of authenticity, we'll do it. And if I was feeling extra crazy, I could stick a nail in here and nail all this together. But I don't think that super matters either. Also, my glasses are starting to break. I just realized that. My head's way too big for these glasses. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and array this thing up. We're gonna do two and zero. And we're just gonna make a little backpack. So looking at this and seeing that the way that this scales, 
you want a piece at the top that just hovers like that. Um, that's so you can loop things around it. You can use it as uh, a brace if you have to like make a fort out of this. So we're gonna leave that as is. All right, so that's the boring part done. Let's make some straps. Um, straps are pretty tough for something like this. The best way I think I know how to do a strap is we're gonna put a loose strap on this guy Check this out. Here's how I think I'm going to do it. We're going to do a Taurus. That's not a Taurus. A uh, Taurus. I made a new character named Rob. All right, what's up with Rob? What's Rob got going on? Is it a similar, like, dog thing that you've been making before? Or, like, what is it? What, what, what makes Rob Rob? There we go. I could probably fatten that up just a little bit. Yeah, a normal dog, well. Um, I mean, that's fine. There's nothing weird about having a normal dog. Uh, fatten, shrink fatten, there we go. So we're just gonna put a ring like that on here and I am going to scale it down just a little bit. We basically just want to loop this ring as hard as we can and push it on down. I was working on perspective and ended up making Robin, and that is how Rob is Rob. So he's perspective. Um, okay, yeah. So it's just a little perspective study you've done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. We should probably really start making collections. Uh, I'm gonna call this Brace, I guess is the best name for it. And we will call these Struts. We will call these Rods. We'll call this um, Ring One. And then all that is gonna go into Brace. And we should be looking pretty good here. So we got two um, rods, two rings, I should say, and they're gonna sit just like this. So just sitting barely up on there. If you look at that from most angles, it should look fine. So we'll call that ring two, and then we'll just go ahead and mirror them, and then I'm gonna put a leather strap between the two of them, and that is it, done. Um, so. Let's mirror modifier you against rods, or struts, actually. Mirror against struts. Same thing for you. You're gonna get mirrored across struts. Look at that. Perfect. So we are looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and make some straps for this guy. Um, I suppose if I was being very authentic, we would put the straps around these rings. Oh, am I really gonna do that? Am I gonna do that? I suppose I have to, right? I think I have to do that. Ugh, oh, man, I've made my life so much harder. Okay, whatever. We'll put you up put you down just a little bit, rotate you ever so slightly back into place, and pull you forward a bit. There we go. Now, this is where things are going to get pretty weird and ugly for a second. I suppose we want to make a cube. This is going to get so gross. Actually, no, I think I know how to do this. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Chill out. I'm like, I'm freaking myself out for no reason. We want to make a strap like this. Just a nice leather strap, and we'll round this thing out in just a second here. 
that's got to be pretty good right there. And then we'll go ahead and double check that he works. So this dimension is x, negative 6, whatever, negative 6, whatever. So we basically just won't move the x axis at all right now. And that kind of fits, but it's a little big. So let's make it smaller, a little bit skinnier. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so I think I am safe to go ahead and put this guy here, put him down, and boast him up. And our only goal right now is to make a very crude loop on here, which I think I'm gonna do like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this part. Um, I've been trying to make some hair and I'm getting all kinds of weird lighting. And so now I am learning Unity, something I would have have to do anyway to see if it looks all right in the rendering engine is actually going to be used in. Um, <clears throat> I would tell you if you were on our Discord, which you know you are autonomous, you can you can choose to be on the Discord if you want to. Um, if you want to be on the Discord, I'd recommend you post the pictures of it um, because I would love to take a look and see what I can see about it. You're on the Discord? When did you join the Discord? I didn't see you join the Discord. You must have done it so stealthily. What the heck? Hold on. If you're on the Discord, let me promote you real quick. Um, sure enough, there you are. Wow, you went right under the radar. You went right past me. My vigilant eye was missing you. Um, cool. Uh, well, let me go ahead and promote you real quick to um, Meshmaster. And you can post in the 3D modeling chat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, sometime around 11 p.m. That would explain why I didn't see it. <laughs> That's fair. Danke, danke. Appreciate the German. Do they speak German in uh, Denmark? Or, um... You're not from Denmark. Wait, is CQDK in Denmark? Where are you from? One of you's from Denmark. I don't remember who. All right, so I'm gonna go like this, right? And this is gonna be just the ugliest, weirdest thing you've ever seen, your check. Now, this isn't meant to be too deep of a topic, but just as a thought, everybody who watches me is European. Why is that? Is it a time zone thing? Do I stream at a time that's like just European or like, what is it? I am not European. <laughs> I live on uh, east coast of the United States, so uh, I don't I don't really know like why everybody who watches me is European. The only person that I can think of that isn't European is uh, Joe. Joe, I just said you by name. Don't even give me this. Joe's out here trying to sell me out. As for the norm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Always, always very European. All right, hold on. We got it. We got to take a little break from the backpack. We got to investigate. Also, this music is very loud. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and look at this. Weird lighting issues on the hair. Uh, well, they're clipping, which is a big part of it. Um, okay, so I, okay, I have some analysis and I can only go based off of what, uh, Simo has told me. So, uh, shout outs to Simo for every piece of wisdom that you're about to hear. Um, are they separate meshes or are you using them with the particle generator? Uh, because if they are particles, it's going to be a lot harder to fix that lighting 
but if it's a separate mesh, it's actually going to be the easiest thing in the world. Like we'll we'll solve it instantly. All right. To the best of my understanding, this should be how we do our strap. I'm going to pull this guy down. And he's just going to get really close to here. So let's go ahead and drop a loop right there. We will edge slide you. And I should theoretically be able just to pull you down. Actually, I want to pull this whole thing down quite a bit. If I pull it down all the way to here, why is that piece not connecting? That's strange, ain't it? Strange. Uh, it is a mesh. I heard some our particles do not trans well, well into other programs. Yep, that is true. Um, so, if you can do me a favor, uh, I'll show you right now. I'll show you my example. Um, if you can do this, so let's open up a mesh, a cube, we'll just put it over here. So you have your mesh, click on your mesh in object mode. Um, click on the vertex tab and click on normals and click auto smooth and play with this right here. That should solve it. Um, if not, there's a more complicated way to fix it that I don't love doing, but it should also work. All right. Yeah, I think that's going to really just solve it for you. That should probably make your problem go away. Oh, I am Mr. Potato now? What does that mean? <clears throat> you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Let's wait on this. Get rid of this guy. Let's... What? That was weird. I just want to dissolve it. Okay. I don't know. Just Potato. You got it. Ooh, this mesh is very weird. Something really strange is happening right now. Why does it look like this? Let's get rid of all this, okay? We have a face with four edges and we have a face with four edges. Oh, it's because I haven't applied scale. Potatoes are very nice, aren't they? I'm quite a fan of potatoes myself. We have them quite often here in the house. Wow, insta fix. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. Um, I guess somehow I have learned to be a 3D modeler. <laughs> Don't ask me how. <laughs> a lot of very kind people have popped into chat and given me advice. Um, so if it weren't for them, I wouldn't know anything. So uh, I guess in your own special way, just pay it forward, you know, give it to the next person next time you uh, you have some somebody that needs a little bit of advice. If it weren't for that, I don't know how I would be getting by. Just in general, actually. Um, except for Joe. Joe's never done a single thing for me. Joe, Joe just comes in chat, says says ooh woo a couple of times and it's over now I wait for the obligatory answer from Joe what would be the best thing for him to do is to not answer but I might have said that a little too late oh we got a different ooh woo now uh, CQDK you're from Denmark right All right, we're gonna do that right here. Yep. Okay, so we got Denmark, Czech. Um, we got Finland. I 
mean, we got a lot of Europe. There's a lot of Europe in this chat. I hope you guys know you're watching you're watching an American. Not only are you watching an American, you're watching a Floridian. Just like the pit of the United States. Um, but I'm mostly from uh, my family's mostly from New York or not New York, uh, New England. So I think culturally I'm more of a um, northerner when it comes to mentality and stuff like that. But just know that you are indeed watching a um, a Southern American man. Okay, this looks bad. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm debating how I should be doing this strap. The rest of this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, is time zones. People like to relax when it's evening here. Yep, I get that. I try to stream during uh, the work day here in the United States um, so that I have the night to relax. Uh, I treat this more like work than like play for me. So yeah, it totally makes sense. Nothing weird. I just think it's funny. I think it's really strange that uh, everybody who watches me is European. There's something very mystifying about that. I do this and then we move this over here people like to stream like 9 p.m. for me but it 8 p.m. now yeah I mean um I guess I guess streaming in general has kind of a culture of being casual but and maybe that's maybe that's just like the weird thing about what we're doing here 3d modeling is not very casual you can make it casual for sure, but like, it just requires a lot of focus. Like, I can't, I can't just be chilling and like cracking jokes as much as I'd love to, because boy, I would love to be funnier. But um, it's just not on the report. Oh, this is terrible. How am I gonna make this work? You know what? I could probably build out a strap. I'm gonna wait on this strap. Hold on, I got a different idea. We're waiting on this strap. I'm gonna come back to this guy. Goodbye. We're coming back to that. We're just gonna leave those guys there for now. I wanna start making bags. Because I have an idea for the strap, but it's gonna require that I do physics stuff. And the physics stuff is always a righteous pain. So, we have a backpack. Let's make a backpack. It is going to look like this. It is going to be here, a little bit more stout. No, it, it, it's fine like that. There we go, that's a backpack. So basically, we wanna go into edit mode, thinking as normal as I can. We're going to apply scale, and I meant apply scale. Uh, go into edit mode. Let's pop a little hole in here. And extrude along normals until we reach the bottom. How deep is this backpack? What the heck? Doesn't look that deep on the outside, but it's, it's deep as can be. Okay, so... Hey, how's it going? It's good. Just uh, making some backpacks and living life and, I don't know, trying to stay sane. Especially with all the chaos that's been going on lately. It's just been a try to stay sane sort of uh, mood right now. Um, I'm going to have to grab the inside parts of this as well. Love the leather. That's not mine. I didn't do that. That's my reference photo. The bag of holding, basically. This thing just goes down forever. Um, so, realistically, I think I just want to push this down. Grab the end of this. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough because it's going to clip on the side here. And I don't love clipping, but let's just try it. 
So, love the box then, lol. Um, well, here, I'll spoil it for you. Here's what I plan on doing. Um, it's going to look really janky because I haven't finished, but here's the idea. We're going to do this. And it'll turn into a bag, but uh, I haven't I haven't done it yet, so we gotta we gotta take some time on this thing. Um, but we're getting there. So let's go ahead and turn off the subsurface, and we'll push it back down. And I just gotta make that top strap look pretty nice. So this is the part that's going to clip, and that's the part that's going to drive me nuts. But, I mean, what can I do about it, right? So we'll go ahead and grab him, put it all together, and we'll go for it. Boom. Hey, Fun Pro Gamer! Everyone's here today. It's good! Working on some backpacks. I've been playing a bunch of uh, Fantasy Star Online in my free time because I'm just a creature of habit, I guess. Um, subsurface is just an insane thing. It definitely is. I mean, it just makes things work. Like, that looks so good already just because of that. Um, hey, Barrel. Uh, I never asked you the cat model. I don't know if it's a cat. Sorry if that's a if that's a assumption. Uh, the model that you're working on, the it looks like a cat to me. Um, what are you using it for? I know you're using it for VR chat, but like, what's the what's the ultimate goal? Like, what are you trying to do with it? Is it just like an avatar for you, or is it an avatar for like public domain? Like, what's the what's the end result? Okay, so we've done all this. This is for our subsurface. So we're gonna pull this guy down. And we're gonna grab these two and pull them just a little bit down. And now, we have a bag. Oh, oh, it's great. Okay, so I want the flap to be a lot skinnier. So boom, 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 all the way in. Make it real skinny. And I think I want to flatten the top of this just a little bit. So we'll do this. And this part. Nope, let's not do that. So I think... This is the tough part. This is the part that I'm going to struggle with for a little bit. Um, I want to grab... Let's come on the inside here. I'm going to grab you. Where is he? There he is. Oh, I didn't shift click. Come on. I should just be using x-ray. What am I doing? making my life way harder than I need to. So we got you, and we got you, and I'm gonna put the subsurface back on, and we're gonna take just a careful look at this and say, how do we make it look better? So I'm thinking we wanna go like this. And we wanna grab That looks so bad. Why does it look like that? What? We want to grab um, you. Oh, this is going to be rough. You, 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 and you, you. All of this. Down. Hey, that looks a lot better. Um, it clips just a little bit, so let's fix that. 
And I guess I can take that part and this part and scooch these guys down to give it a little bit of a arc. Look at that. I mean, that's a bag, man. That's great. I could sit here and work on this forever and try to make it perfect and perfect and perfect, but like, it works. It's a bag. It's fine. Um, I will say there are a couple of things I want to change about this. Um, I want it to come in on the sides a little bit more. So we're going to grab these and pull them in like that. Oh, excellent. Look at that thing. She's beautiful. The lip of this guy could use a little bit of work. And then I'm going to read this uh, big old bunch of text that just got left. We're going to figure out what's going on with your cat model. There we go. Perfect. Very perfect. Uh, I have a friend who is a VTuber and he does not have a 3D rig he can truly call his own yet. So I decided to pick that up because I owe him for some personal things. That's excellent. Man, VTubers, like, holy cow. This, this whole VTubing thing has taken off in the craziest way possible. I, like, cannot believe how absolutely, like, dominant VTubing has become. In such a short amount of time, too. All right, so if I'm looking at this, oh, this is a very unapproachable model. I want to grab you and you and you, and then all the way along the bottom. I know this is hard to look at. It's hard to look at for me too. Um, I'll try to finish this as quick as I can. The goal is not to stare at this awful looking thing for too long. Blame the furries. Is VTubing a furry thing? I never really made that connection in my head. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do it like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and shift E to increase that crease. Oh, there he is. There he is. And we will shift E that, shift E that, and say, hello, look at that. That looks clean. That looks so clean right there. We just put a button on it and we're set. Very much yes. Got it. I can definitely see like it being a trans thing because it's sort of like, you know, you get to be whoever you want to be and stuff like that. But furry, I never really drew a line between furries and VTubers. I've never really drawn a line between furries and trans people. And as somebody who um, is in a committed relationship with a trans person, I'm going to refrain from even attempting to think about that. Um... All right, we'll go ahead and say that looks about right right there. Yeah, look at this bag. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she looks great. Perfect. Furries can be their persona like that. <laughs> what a phrase. What a phrase that has been uttered on this day. Uh, all right, so we've made a bag. Let's go ahead and put the X to zero. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like there. It's probably a little bit too big, right? There's good. We'll push it right up on there. Yo, perfect. 
Like, is it perfect? No, it definitely needs a little bit of love. This thing definitely has some errors. In fact, I can fix a few of them right now, now that I'm looking at them. Uh, these guys, go ahead and x-ray this for me. These guys may need to be less boxy. In fact, I could probably grab all of these, make them less boxy. And if we come back, that makes everything look a little bit rounder. And then the bottom of this mesh, we can pop down just a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna push up. Instead of going down, we're gonna go up. So I'm gonna grab you and you, and we're gonna pull you guys up. You guys go up just like that, and then these guys right here will go way, way up, and then that should be it. Much better. Oh, it clips. There we go. That'll do. That'll have to do for now. That's it. I'll probably sit and tinker on this for a long time, but that's that's not bad. I can live with this. I, I kind of want to try and make this little embellishment right here where you, like, trace the um, lining there. Uh, let's just go for it. While I'm thinking about it, let's just go for it. So turn off the subsurface. <laughs> can I get rid of these now? Did I fix this? Can I get rid of these? Let's see, Can will that work? What does that look like? It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I guess that's how we're gonna do it. A lot of furries are also in the LGBT community. Um, yeah, totally, I see that. That makes like perfect sense to me. That whole situation is like, yep, couldn't, couldn't be more clear to me. Um, what is your affiliation with furries, Amazing Barrel? Are you, do you identify that way? Or is your friend that way and you're just supportive? Like, what's your, what's your whole steez? Um, I understand some people don't like answering that question and you are certainly not expected to if you don't want to. Just curious. Okay, so we're gonna say that looks about right. I'm gonna round out the back of this actually. So let's go ahead and call you, oh, you gotta go down here, get rid of that. I'm gonna merge at last on these guys. And that should make this look pretty clean, I think. Yeah, this should work. So if I take, all of this and I extrude out, what happens? Actually, I don't wanna do that. I wanna shrink slash fatten. So let's do that real quick. There we go, that's exactly what we want. So we've made a nice little, oh, oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect, it looks so good. If I shift R this using like 50%, point 0.4 will do. We've done it. We've made a bag. Oh, it's cool. It might be a little more dramatic than I want it to be. In fact, it is definitely a little too dramatic for me. So let me go ahead and attempt it one more time. Shrink fatten by just a tiny amount, by like 0 0.05. Um, I did not want to be a furry, so I became a scaly instead. Well, you know, I didn't think there was gonna be a yikes way for you to say that, but sure. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Um, 
that you 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 definitely said that in the most visceral way you absolutely could have though so appreciated for sure uh looking at this oh no this is easy yeah easy fix boom right here and we're set oh look at him he's gorgeous so if I take just the end of this guy and we pop him on up, we should be looking at a pretty nice looking bag. Now it's got insane amounts of geometry, which I don't love. Now it has less insane amounts of geometry, which I do love. And I can live with this. So we'll keep it like that and I'll try and make a leather sort of thing a little bit later. Um, I think there's no harm in crunching it like that. So I'm gonna crunch it just a bit. Just a little bit. And everything still fits, it slots in just fine, perfect. In fact, I might make it a little bit larger now that it's skinnier. Yeah, this works, this looks great. Perfect, so let's make a bedroll. Um, for whatever reason, you always see bedrolls on top of the bag, but that's not, I mean, that's not how I was taught to do things. I guess we'll make a bedroll. We'll make a bedroll and then we'll decide where we're going to put it. So bedroll, 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 bedroll. How are we going to do this guy? suppose we just want a spiral hold on this is actually easy let's make a curve a spiral don't worry i am hard offended as you should be honestly you should be so offended um, initial radius should be like 0.1. And then turns. We're going to say like 20 is too much. Um, honestly, if you're going to be into any sort of niche culture, be it LGBT, be it furry, be it being an anime fan, anything. If you're going to be into anything that's like a quote-unquote minority, you got to have thick bones. You can't you can't be offended easily. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's your life, obviously. But like, sometimes you're going to have to defend yourself. People aren't nice out there. People are going to like challenge you and get in your way. And you're going to have to like, you have to throw hands sometimes. So it's good to, good to have a little bit of humor if you're going to be... Um, just however you want to be. Okay, so we got an extrusion. I don't need the offset. Depth. Oh, depth. There it is. Perfect. Oh, there he is. We were looking for you the whole time. Oh, it's perfect. So... This guy right here, we're gonna grab him and we're gonna divide him and it's gonna look really nice. Resolution. I mean, can I make it like just the worst resolution ever? Yeah, I can, totally. This looks lovely. The more I look at it, the more it looks like German sausage, but I'm gonna try my best not to think that way. Um, I would apologize for saying that, but I'm not sorry, so. There you go, you got a better roll. Cool, so now I just have to round out the tips of these guys. So can I convert it? Object, convert to mesh. We did it, hey, easy. I want to sit and simplify the heck out of this thing. It is insanely detailed right now. You know what, this'll do, this is fine actually. 
So let's go ahead and I'm going to pull the tip of this guy out like this, and then I'm going to bevel it. And that should do just fine. So a bevel of six with uh, 0 0.0725. Let's copy. I'm not going to be able to do it perfectly this time because I didn't see how I started it the last time. In fact, I'll just do it right here. Yeah, that's fine. This will do. Bedroll, done. That was <laughs> so easy. Uh, okay, so if I'm feeling extra crazy, the world's wor widest Frankfurter. Honestly. Um, also, just for the sake of stream quality, is there a delay between us? Or are you, do you have a little bit of a... Are you just a little busy? Because it seems like there's a delay between us. And I do not want that. Um, if it's, if it's just taking a sec to answer, that's fine. That's no judgment there, obviously. But, like, I just want to make sure that the stream's not lagging or something. Um, just slow on keyboard. Okay. I didn't mean to call you out. We're going to pretend like that didn't just happen. Um, but you're good. No worries. Okay, so if you're feeling extra crazy on this thing, you could, uh, subsurface it. And you would make a really clean looking bedroll. But like, I'm not doing all that. That's a lot of geometry for nothing. So we're going to have this nice crunchy little bedroll. And it's going to be perfect. It's going to be exactly what we ever wanted. Um, so. How to mess with a bedroll. We're going to rotate it by 90. That's not what I wanted. We're going to rotate it by 90 on the y-axis. And I'm just so used to putting bedrolls below the bag. So I'm just going to do it that way. I don't care if it's incorrect. That's the way of things. So bedroll goes here. Um, I could add some leather straps to come around it. I suppose I probably should. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? I guess I will. I guess I will. I guess it's pretty easy. It's going to require very little effort on my part, so I'm going to do it. So we'll do it like that. That's a pretty good looking bedroll. Now, just for the sake of Devil's Advocate. Oh, it does look better on top, doesn't it? So if I do 90, nope. If I do 180 up here, if I do 90 up here. What the heck? What the heck? Why can't I rotate it? That's what I was trying to do. Oh, 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 we have to double the 90 and then 180. Hello, sir? That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Sure, whatever, I guess. We'll put it just like that. I it, I don't understand what math it just did to make this work that way, but sure, we'll take it. All right, bedroll is up there. If we're going to put the bedroll up here, then this has to get scooched down. And we'll call it there, and I'll go ahead and make an axe here in just a second. But first, we're going to make the bedroll nice and um, wrapped up in leather. So, we want a torus. Alright, so the torus is going to be rotated by 90. Whack it till it works. That is definitely the vibe. We're going to come out... I mean, that's already pretty good, but go ahead and make your life even easier and say, dissolve. And dissolve. 
And since we dissolve those edges, we can afford a few extra edges. That's too many. Amazing redeemed everybody hydrate. Get yourself some nice water and let's all take a drink. <sighs> all right, you redeemed it three times. You've redeemed it four times. Let's keep it going, come on. How many times are we gonna redeem it? I'm gonna take one sip for every time you've done this. I hope you know that. Um, also, that did not work. How many do you have? Why do you have so many channel points? All right, I'm starting to think my, my Twitch is actually glitched out. How have you done this? There's no way, you did not have that many channel points. Did you really? You did have that many channel points. The heck, man? How did that happen? All right, so that's a pretty good looking leather strap if I do say so myself. We could stick a little bit that comes off of this. I don't wanna do that. I'm not doing that, I don't care. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is perfect, just as is. So let me go ahead and grab everything and merge by distance to get rid of extra little vertices. 192, yeah, I'm glad we got rid of them. We don't need 192 extra polygons just sitting around doing nothing. Um, so perfect. And I'll go ahead and squinch them on here. Let's make everything nice and small and perfect. In fact, let me copy this dimension real quick. Also, give me one sec, and I will I will honor your um, your water wishes. You had my stream run overnight because sleep got the better of you. I saw that. I thought you went to sleep. Um, I saw you were still in chat when I plugged out. I like turned my stream off. And then I went and like did something and I came back and you were still in chat and I was like, all right, I guess you fell asleep. Uh, we'll put the leather strap right there so it sinks correctly on that end. And I could sit and make this look a little prettier, but I'm not going to. There's too much to do today. That actually looks so nice. Cool, so you are bedroll. Um, I'll go ahead and make a collection for accessories. Just ACC. Uh, bedroll can go in there. The Taurus is that. What do we got? We got the bag. Bag. Um, and you are uh, bed straps. Perfect. Um, so we're going to make sure we're on accessories. And then we're going to grab bed straps. And we'll go ahead and mirror it along the bedroll. What? Hello? What? Why is it not mirroring? What's happening? What have I missed? What if I mirror it across the bag? Well, something's broken. Something got broken real bad. I guess we'll leave the strap as is for right now. I gotta come back to that. That's strange. Very weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go get water real quick. I'll be right back and I'm gonna go ahead and drink. Let's count it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm gonna go drink fifteen sips of water. I'll be right back. Oh, there's sixteen.
I'm cheating. I'm gonna cheat. I'm cheating. I'm not drinking water. I'm gonna drink that good old root beer. And by root beer, I mean ginger ale. All right, 16 sips. Thank you. This, this stream has already been derailed. It usually takes a while to derail a stream, but here we are. Oh, that hurts. Okay, that's five. I'm gonna get one water. I thought ginger ale would be easy. Okay, now we're at 11. I'm gonna take a break for just a sec. Let's start the ax. Should I mark all of those as complete or refund most of them and just complete one? Yo, nobody's getting a refund on this. Nobody gets a refund on their um, their water. If you force me to drink water, that's what you get. Sixteen. And I hope you heard how disgusting the sound effect of me drinking water was. You're welcome for that. Uh, I also like tonic water. It's pretty hated over here. I don't mind it. All right, so we're gonna make an ax. We're gonna make a nice little ax head. Also, you gotta watch your request queue and clear it out every now and again. What do you mean clear it out? What does that mean? Clear it out. What am I clearing out? Uh, okay, so an ax head. Let's think about how to make an ax. Um, the best thing that I can think about making an axe head, we're going to kind of copy what we did yesterday. I'm going to make the actual head part. Back to lurking. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. <laughs> All right, go, go work. Go to work, Joe. Your request queue with a tongue out face. I don't know what that means. Joe, always here being cryptic. Even on his own stream, he's cryptic. It's just his aesthetic. Wow, I didn't think taking uh, 15 swigs of ginger ale would be that bad, but, you know, I'm kind of feeling it. Oh, we got potato back. Alright, so we're making an axe. It has that curve. I think I can simulate the curve. Let's simulate the curve right here. In fact, no, 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 no. Better yet, better yet. If I take this and I edge slide this forward and then we put that there, now I can take this and push you up To make a really nice axe head. Pog Potato Gold. What are you talking about? What is happening in this chat today? Yesterday was chaos, and you all are proving that today is probably going to be chaos as well. Which I guess is fine. Chaos is kind of the name of the game for me. All right. I think that looks about right to me. So let me go ahead and quickly grab this and this, and we will inset a hole into them, and then we will bridge them. And we got an axe head. So let's go ahead and subsurface this guy. And hopefully we've done it correctly. Wow, that looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> You are pog and gold is good. It's a lot to digest in one sentence, but I appreciate the compliment. Uh, 
we'll say it like that. Oh, there it is. Okay. It needs a little bit of work. There's some weird stuff going on with this guy, but it's not bad. The tube that we're going to stick the stick into looks literally perfect. And that part coming up here is pretty perfect. Let's edit that real quick. In fact, I think I know how to fix it. Let's fix it right here. And I'll do it like that. And we'll pop you up like that. Push you in just a little bit. And I'll give it a little bit of a head. In fact, get rid of that head. Let's grab all of this and pop all of that up just a little bit. And if I go like that, and if I go like that, I think we're looking all right. That looks so weird. Something very strange is going on there. Let's see. I mean, that's not the worst axe head I've ever seen in my life. Um, it definitely could use some work. Let's see here. I think the number one thing that's gonna save this, there's two things that are gonna save this. Raise the blade a little bit. Um, we could try that. I don't want to raise this bottom bit too, too much. Or this top bit. I want to like a straight line on the top here. Just a little bit of a drip. I regret saying the word drip because I think I've invited um, just the worst stuff into chat right now. So whatever happens in chat right now is non-canonical. Um... That, that is reasonable to me. Also, I think I see what it is. I think I see it now. We want this and this to come back a little bit. Down. What's with drip? I'm so glad you've said this. Honestly, you've, you've proven that the world still has hope. Very great. I very much appreciate that. I'd use that meme if it was funny to me. Oh, you know, I've never been more confident that this is the best chat in the world until this very moment. Good work, guys. You've passed the test. I'm going to only do the top part of this. That is not bad looking. Um, I mean, the drip meme is basically just, like, people wear fancy clothing. That's the whole meme. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's not a bad axe. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty boring. That's why we don't like it. So 90 is probably not a bad angle for this. I will try 70. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead a little bit. We're going to check what this looks like with nodes real quick. Um, I want to see if the nodes do anything for this. So let's start making some stuff. We have linen, dark leather, light leather metal actually let's make the handle first and then i will call it so we're gonna make a cylinder over here um i want the x to be identical because i don't want to sit think about it too too much 
So we're going to push you on into here. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, oh, we're in. We're, this is great. This looks so nice. Look how perfect this thing looks. Whoa, not like that. Okay, it sticks out the top just a little bit and we're going to round that bit out a little bit. This guy can actually get squished a little bit. Look at that. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and finish off the bottom of this guy. The weird thing about axes is they have that grip. Um, I don't know, should I put the dog Rob on Instagram? Um, I mean, why not, right? I mean, it's your piece. You do whatever you want to it, obviously. But like, if you're feeling comfortable with it, you should 100% do whatever you feel like. I think you have like a real aesthetic on your stuff. And um, if it like fits into that like idea for you, then it's yours. It's your artistry. I don't see any reason not to. Um, we're gonna try and round this out a little bit more than what we're doing. Like that, right there. Okay, so we have some very specific stuff. We wanna go like that. That right here. And then at the bottom, we want that right there. like this okay so now we're gonna grab we're gonna grab all of this at the bottom well it's not scary in any way i mean still who cares right like the the real takeaway here is are you trying to are you trying to tell a story with your art and if the answer is no then don't worry about it until you are and if the answer is yes, does Rob fit into your story? And if the answer is yes, then literally you have no reason not to include it. Um, I don't, I mean, if you feel, if you feel this strongly that you like are curious whether you should or not, you probably should. You're probably ready to post it. It's always good to like question your own artwork and stuff like that. I think that's a very important part of being an artist. Um, but Instagram is not the most serious platform in the world. Um, so if, if it's something you feel strongly about, just go for it. Uh, the drip is the next generation of the Among Us meme and it's just dead on arrival for me. Um, even less transformable than the the baby convertible. <laughs> we just got a dissertation on um, the drip meme, everybody. I couldn't be more stoked. I love that. Um, I'm somebody that really just kind of doesn't get memes in general. Um, like I understand they exist. But beyond that, like my my sense of humor is so botched at this point in my life that it's difficult for me to really like enjoy conventional humor. Um, that's probably the most pretentious statement I've said to date. So I'm gonna just end my analysis right there. But uh, I think it stands. Okay, so all we're doing is we're rounding out a bunch of these pieces. I think we're adding a little bit of unnecessary geometry, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna grab all of this. We're going to merge by distance. We should remove quite a few vertices. We should have removed more than that, honestly. Um, so let's up it by just a bit, 52. That's exactly the amount that we wanted to remove.
And looking at this objectively, I think it needs to be bigger. So first off, let me grab this and we're gonna make you a bit bigger and proportion. Just like that. That's pretty good looking. And then the second thing we wanna do is push it forward just a little bit and proportion it just the same with a sharp and we'll go for it. And I care less about that. You see, I'm a gentleman of refined humor. That's exactly what I said, word for word. You caught me. You got me. I've been I've been outed as a pretentious snob. Um what else is new, right? Uh, we'll just make a nice little cap on the end of this guy, and we'll say that's it. I feel like it's not my favorite looking axe in the world. It's actually a little goofy looking. Like, it literally looks like Goofy from Disney. But I'm going to sit and think about it for a little bit before we delete anything or do anything tragic like that. In fact, in fact, I think I might want to go ahead and do this. I think this will solve the problem right away. Let's delete three of these guys. Same thing. Let's delete three of these guys. Can you all believe Kingdom Hearts got made? I think about Kingdom Hearts maybe every single day of my life, and I'm sort of like, I can't believe Kingdom Hearts got made. What on earth happened to just the world in general? That looks quite a bit better. It looks quite a bit better, and I think this part, the blade, we're going to want to grab you and you, get rid of the subsurface. Like, man, I would love to have sat in on the pitch meeting for Kingdom Hearts. Hey, Disney, what if we took your property and we made the strangest thing you've ever seen in your life? And Disney was like, how much money is it going to make? And they're like, we're not sure it's going to make a lot of money at first. But eventually, people are going to crave this so much that it will make literally infinite money. What a wild pitch. What a wild idea for anything. Okay, does that look a little bit better? I suppose this is the part that's catching me right now. This piece right here is super dramatic. It looks pog. Why do you say pog so much? What is this pog thing about? Is Pog trending again? Is like Pog new again because it's Pog? Well, I mean, that's the answer I expected. Guess I couldn't ask for much more than that. Also, it has a sharp top and a sharp bottom. That's probably exactly what I should change about this. So let's do that real quick. All right, you're just gonna be the pog guy from now on. You're you're our resident pog expert. So I hope you can um. I hope you can hold that title, true to heart. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. We're gonna keep it kind of sharp. I think that should probably make it look a bit better for us. You say, saying pog to people is very based of you. 
Okay, and you're now our resident based expert. So we got it. We got all our bases covered. We got literally everything we need. And then I'm the expert of nothing. As as is the way of things. Alright, so I'm gonna grab you, 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 you. Pull you guys up until that crease is better. Oh, I hate that crease. That is awful looking. Tell you what, you guys get rid of you. No crease at all. That looks infinitely better. That looks so much better. This part down here, I don't love. It doesn't like hit the blade correctly, but the top is basically perfect. So the thing I think we wanna do to finish this is lower these edges like that. Looks sharp, it looks very sharp. I would not love to um, get on this person's bad side. You know what, that's fine. That's a good enough ax for me. I could use this ax. And I'm feeling extra crazy, so we'll just go for it. We'll make it a conventional ax instead of a wood chopping ax. Should I start saying pog in every sentence I say? Um, I think I would be just an inadvisable friend to say yes to that, uh, but I can't stop you. So you can do whatever you want. Cool. So let's go ahead and start uh, shading this bad boy. So we'll start with the actual ax. That's pog based. Wow. This, this is really devolved. Um, every now and again, I'm streaming and I think to myself, I could just be in a dream right now. This could just not be real life and I could just be going crazy. And I think this is one of those moments. I think this might be one of them moments. Okay, so an axe is usually this like bluish, yeah, right there. No sheen, no clear coat. The roughness is probably even a little bit better. Ooh, ooh, look at that. She shines. Okay, so what makes an axe? Um, well, axes are never clean. If you have a clean axe, you've never used your axe. So we need to add a little bit of rust and warping to it. So I'm gonna color ramp this bad boy. Right here, we're gonna throw you on there. And we're gonna do just a nice simple musgrave, same as we always do. One musgrave on there, one musgrave on there. These two colors need to be swapped with one another. And maybe we should do it more like this. Nope, definitely like this. Mind can only prove existence of self is a well-established philosophical concept. What? Oh, also, I realize I'm very dark right now. There we go. Let's solve that problem right away. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy a little bit smaller. If I can sparse this out a little bit, that might be nice too. Tell you what, I know how to do that. Um, we're gonna put another color ramp here, as bad as that sounds. And we're gonna go like this. There we go, perfect. That is an X, absolutely perfect. So let's make it real small, maybe not that small, maybe like a 14 I think is great. Detail goes way up, dimension goes down. 
point seven. There we go. That's an X. Okay, so the roughness is based off of that, I believe. So let's lower that. Nope, that's not it. Roughness is based off of this. So let's raise that up just a little bit to like 0.1. Might be a little too high, 0.15. There we go. Now we got an X. And the color is basically perfect on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a nice little rust color. That ain't bad. That is not bad looking. Wow. When you said this could be a dream, as far as philosophy is concerned, there is no way to disprove that statement. Isn't that true for like literally everything though? At the end of the day, isn't everything completely based on like selfish intention? Like, I could think anything is real if I wanted to. Um, okay, so we're going to do like a dark, dark little ring around these guys. And this guy needs to be desaturated a lot and made way darker. Like, way, way darker. There we go. There's a little ax for you. It looks about right to me. I could try and dull the point if I wanted to, but it's not that bad. I could put a chip in here, actually. A chip might work. But otherwise, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna leave that as is for now. So let's go ahead and do the wood. Uh, wood is definitely something that I... Um, used to struggle a lot with and then I just got good at it one day I just like decided I don't want to be bad at this anymore and I just stopped being bad at it so I'm gonna do that again right now and this is gonna be the moment where I unlearn how to make wood as a result of me bragging so can't wait can't wait for that reality to come true um it's gonna be diagonal that's pretty much perfect That is pretty much perfect. Cool. I mean, it already looks like wood. There's not much more that I have to do to it. Roughness doesn't really affect anything, but I will keep the roughness high so we don't reflect too much light. And then we just pick two colors. Nice and easy. So I will say wood is usually like a leathery color and then wood is usually like a dark. And we found a wood, done. Nice and easy. Don't have to think about it, took two seconds. That's wood. And the bottom of it looks so lovely. Look how great that looks. On an ax, there is the most rust on the back of the head, the least on the edge. So if you want an extra good, you'll add some weight map for the rust. Um, instead of adding a weight map, instead of adding a weight map, there's an easier way that I could do that. Um, but I will, we'll go for it if you want me to do that. Um, let me just go ahead and pop the wood onto here real quick and pop the wood onto here. So now all the wood is taken care of. All right, so the easier way to do it than a weight map, it's a little bit less accurate, but it'll do just fine, is we're gonna do texture coordinates and we're going to add um, a mapping node, generated vector. I might switch to object, but we'll stick with generated just for the time being. Actually, no, let's definitely go for object. Okay, so here's the idea. We're gonna go scale 
and we're going to drop the location back. That didn't work. So, a weight map. What, why would I want to use a weight map versus an empty? Let's try this real quick. The, the reason why I'm struggling with this and I'm not just doing a weight map is I worry about how it's going to export when... Wow, export? Why did I say it like that? Um, I'm worried how it's going to export when we put it into a game engine. Um, and weight maps can be pretty tricky in my opinion. Um, usually you want to bake things to a graphic if you're going to do a weight map. So that's the only reason I'm like holding off on that. Um, that's that empty. Perfect. So it's empty one. And if I just go object straight into vector, we could also add a little bit of a gradient. So let's see what that looks like real quick. We want like a quadratic. There it is. Okay, so I want... I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, so we want scale. You can see a couple of them kind of creeping in. So we're gonna add a mapping, invasion of the egg puns. What the heck is happening? Two, two, two. Let's do like a 10, 10, 10. There's some like cool little wispy bits. That's strange. You said export. Oh, I did say export, didn't I? I realized I haven't been myself since I put my glasses off. Now my glasses are back on. Hmm, this is trickier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's try a weight map. We'll give you the we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on the weight map here. So I'm gonna go to weight paint. We'll paint that back end very hard. Like that. And I'll do little flicks. Just like that, just a little bit coming out. And so now I should be able to go back to object mode and we should have a weight paint, but I gotta figure out how to add it. Layer weight, there we go. That's not it. How do you weight paint? Is there a node for weight painting? Objects, normals, UVs, generated, no. How do you weight paint um, textures in a node? Object info. Hmm, this seems not possible. Bevel attribute. Could be attribute, not bevel. Attribute. Geometry instancer. Hmm. I think we're going to keep it like this for now. I can't figure out how to get the weight paint. Oh, it's just what you would try in that situation? Got it. Oh, actually, oh, 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 oh,
I'm making this so complicated. Uh, this is gonna be called axe handle. This is gonna be called axe blade. We can completely delete that empty. Oh, it's obvious. What am I doing? That was, it's the most obvious thing in the world. Where is it rustiest? On the wood. Instead of making an invisible thing, let's just make a handle. Right? Hello? And that didn't want to work for some reason, which is so strange. So if I put in like a converter, a color ramp, crazy stuff is happening. I'm not even sure what's going on. So I'm just gonna call it here for now. We're just gonna take it. This is the way it's gonna sit until later. Let's make some leather. So leather, I think is very easy to do. We're gonna call you dark leather and it's going to be almost black. So dark leather is going to be, let's start with this color and we're gonna desaturate you down and make you 0 0.06. That's our dark leather right there. All right, it's got a roughness of probably like 0 0.3, 0 0.4. It's gotta have a ton of sheen because fabrics have sheen. That ain't bad. That's not bad. Clear coat, no clear coat. Hmm. Again, I think there might be slight little breaks in the roughness. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another Musgrave and another color ramp. We're gonna plug these guys into the roughness using like 13. Uh, let's apply scale to this guy. Okay, should be pretty easy from here. We'll just go 10 and one. And I will Yep, just like that. Now I can drop the scale down to maybe like seven. Perfect. And the black cannot be true black. The black's like right here. Right here. There we go. That's leather. It's a pretty decent looking leather. I could probably lower this down a little bit as well to like 0.8. So there we go. So that's leather, that's dark leather. We're gonna repeat the same thing for um, the other leather. So I'm going to take the dark leather. We're going to make a copy of it. Oh, it looks good. It looks so good. Um, and I'm just going to change the color of this guy. So it'll be this nice brown. And for me, that brown is too prominent. I don't like the way it looks in my render. So I will just drop it down a little bit, make it a little bit more the color that I want. 0 0.12, 0 0.1, 0 0.7. probably does need a little bit more on the red side, so 0 0.05. And on this one, I think I'm willing to make this pure white to get those greater little divots in here. But the scale probably needs to be brought down to make bigger chunks. Cool, that's that. Um, we're gonna call you light leather. Uh, I'm gonna make you just rusted metal because I don't have time to think about that. We'll 
do the same thing to you. You are shaded smooth and you are rusted metal. The rust is pretty inconsequential anyway, so we'll just leave it like that. Now the bed. What color bed are we going to make this? Bed rolls. Bed rolls are almost always cotton. This like that like taupey sort of color is cool. Looks like a weird off canvas. So if I grab that, I would like it to be a little bit more colorized. It's a little bit boring. Make it very rough. Give it a lot of sheen. There you go. Now it reflects light there at the end, although that high of sheen probably isn't very good. 0.5. Maybe a little bit of a clear coat. Yep, right there. You can see it reflecting a little bit of light. And clear coat roughness is going to come up, so it reflects less like that. And then now let's give it a color. Uh, that is way too boring of a color, so I'm probably going to give it a zero. Yeah. That's kind of really, like, cute looking. I love it. It's great. It looks perfect. Cool. So let's go ahead and attach our axe to this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and make a leather strap real quick. We'll say like this. Bada boom, bada boom. Make the whole thing smaller. And we join it all together. Um, it's not wanting to join correctly. Let's put it like here. Edit. Make two of these guys, bring them out. And then we're going to apply scale. I'm going to grab just you and just you, and we're going to make you like this. You know what? Actually, I think we can do one better. Let's do four of these guys. Four. And now I will take um, just two of them and pull you guys forward. We will apply scale, go back, grab you, grab you, grab you, not you, grab you, grab you, and perfect. We've made a strap. Absolutely perfect. It looks so nice. Boom. No problem at all. So now I just need to rotate it correctly, get it right on the angle that we want, and then we're done. So push this guy in. Maybe a little bit further up now that I'm looking at it. Look at that. That is leather right there. That looks great. I can sit and tinker with it and try and make it look a little bit better, but for the time being, I like that. So we'll drop our ax down and put everything together. We got a nice baste in chat. having a big doubt here right now. You 
You know what? I got an easier way that we can do this. Let's go back to the strap. We're gonna grab these two guys and scooch them on out and proportion that correctly. Just like that. Just stick it right on there. Get it really nice and close. And if I grab the whole thing and I twist it, give it a little bit of organic spin, and I think we should be all right. Look at that. It clips a little more than I would like, but I don't hate that. Maybe we'll grab the whole thing and scooch it on down just a little bit. It attaches perfectly fine on all of the angles. It clips a little bit, which is very frustrating. But it is there. So if we come in here and we grab you and we give you a dark leather. I mean, we're getting there. I wish this would work. I don't know what's going on with the bed strap. Why don't you mirror across bag? Oh, now it works. It didn't work earlier. Cool. Problem solved. So we're gonna need some straps on here and we're gonna need a button and we're gonna need a little bit of extra stuff. So I'm gonna, I wanna make something interesting. Hey, Barrel. If you have any ideas for like a little accessory, I'm thinking of making like a little chain of beads here and hanging like a rabbit's foot or some sort of thing a dream catcher would be too big, so smaller than a dream catcher, but just a little lucky charm here, whatever it is. Um, please don't choose something that is going to absolutely kill me. Um, I'm not trying to have the worst time in my life. But yeah, that would be, uh, if you can think of something, that'd be great. In the meantime, I'm going to make a button. So let's think about a button here for a second. I think I just want to make like the stereotypical button. Is that bad? Yeah, that's fine. Let's make a big old button. A little antler. That's a cool idea. That's a really cool idea. I like that one. That's a that's a great one. Um, we're going to call this Axe Strap. And I'm willing to make a new collection for Axe at this point. Axe Blade, Axe Handle, Axe Strap. I don't know why they didn't go into the collection. <laughs> um, sure, we'll do it like that. I carry a little antler in one of my backpacks. Hey, there you go. Are you a hiker? Is that what 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 causes you to do that? Okay, so let's go ahead and make ourselves. What do we want? What do we want? I suppose we just want a circle. Tough to say. We'll do a circle. So we'll do just a little baby circle like that. We'll go ahead and extrude you up. I'll punch a little hole in you. We'll extrude you back down. We'll do like a little bit of this. Now 
now I gotta actually make the holes in here. And this is the part that I was not looking forward to, but I think I have it. J, J, boom, 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 boom. You all can be inset like that, but it's going to be individual insets. And if I loop tools you guys and make circles out of you, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and hmm. I just found it in the forest when I was around nine or something and had it in my backpack ever since. That's very cool. That's a cool story. I uh, I grew up doing a lot of hiking. Hiking was a very important activity to me as a kid. And um, I imagine something like that would be very cool for me to have found. Point one, point one. Negative point one, negative point one. And halves and halves. Point one, negative point one. Perfect. Um, I made the real mistake of not doing it on the bottom. Frustrating. Very frustrating. I should have just done it at the same time. Oh well. Oh well. No harm, no foul. So we'll do it like that. And I will go for it that individual we will loop tools circle and we will make them extra small and they'll be even smaller than the ones at the top and I think this is gonna be just fine so we'll go boom boom bridge bridge Bridge, bridge. Okay, so if we wanna take this thing and put a very small subdivision surface on it. Oh, I'm gonna have to like really mess with this thing, aren't I? Sure, we'll keep it like that, I suppose. It looks good, it's just like that geometry is terrible this is gonna be this is gonna be a real problem child there we go not bad if we're feeling extra crazy we'll go like that looks about right to me it's a button it'll do it's got way too much geometry for what we're looking at, but it should be all right for right now. The bottom, we can really like cut out some detail on. So the bottom, I'll do most of the trimming on, but this should be fine. So let's go ahead and rotate her by 90 degrees and push her back to um, set origin to geometry. We'll put her at zero and at the front of the backpack. The number one thing that you can do as a 3D modeler is not get obsessed with perfection and kind of let chaos and let just random chance and stuff take over. So we are going to satisfy that by spinning this just a little bit and really kind of uglying it. Um, I think from a practical standpoint, when players are playing games or experiencing content or whatever, people have a natural inclination to think of what things should look like. Uh, people naturally think, oh, I wish it did that, or I wish it did that. I wish Mario 
went to this world instead of this world and you know so on and so forth and i think the process of people doing that in their head is way more interesting than your ability to do it as an artist imperfections bring life for sure at the end of the day whoever your audience ends up being for whatever it is that you're making any kind of art what happens in their head is always going to be more interesting than what you're capable of making. People just have way bigger imaginations than um, you have a budget to make anything. You could have you could have Disney's budget, and you're still not going to make a movie that meets people's expectations. They're still going to come up with the wildest, crazy stuff you've never even thought of before. Just because that's what people naturally do. That's what their brains want. Um, and I think the more you get obsessed with trying to get away from that, the worse your art is going to be. So uh, don't do that. Cue Star Wars. Exactly. You put the nail on the head with that one. Hmm. That should be all right. That's not half bad. So we'll go ahead and make this tortoise shell, which has reliably been very difficult for me. In fact, let's pull up a reference image real quick. I'm going to reference something, um, and we'll try it that way. So tortoise shell glasses. Actually, no, no, no. Let's do a tortoise shell guitar pick because I can picture that a little bit better in my head. That's exactly what we want. Just the classic Fender gross looking tortoise boy. What's the exact one that we want? We want like a tiger's eye. It doesn't even look like tortoise shell. It looks like tiger's eye. This will be the one. This will be the one we use. Thank you, Martin. All right, back to Blender. And let me go ahead and take a zoom out real quick. Pop in our little guitar pick. And let's do this thing. So it is three different colors. It is that color. It is this color and it is that color. It is almost exclusively black. So it looks like that for the most part. It's got a bit of a B spline to it. The scale is way less, and I think it's not. It's like a Vernoy. Hold on. I think it's a Vernoy. So let's do this and let's lower the distortion down just a little bit. And I'm going to add a Vernoy. Right there. And it's going to be smooth to F1 using Euclidean at a scale of 10. Mostly black. with little smidges of yellow. The randomness can be 0.75 and let's go ahead and mix. So if I throw in a mix RGB right here and we say that that's the primary and it just needs to be, oh, like an overlay or like a color burn. Hmm. We're just trying everything real quick. In fact, now that we're looking at this, I think I want to lower the distortion even more and the detail should be raised. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. So 20. 
detail scale one point one the star wars movies are so sad the visuals are great the acting is solid. the core choreography is let's leave out the throne room fight but the writing is absolute dog um i don't totally agree with you i think the writing is actually the best part of star wars it's just that they gave the writing or like the extended lore is the best part of star wars let me put it that way the extra stuff in star wars is awesome like the depth of absolutely everything in that universe is wonderful but they focus on such simple weirdo stuff it just loses any and all like ability to tell a story oh yeah in the new trilogy nothing sacred oh i think i've done it i think i have done it here folks so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this yellow, and a little bit less of the red. And I think that is it. That's a button right there. So if I lower the specular to like 0.25, get the roughness down to like 0.3, metallic, People don't like when I do half metallic, but I think it can use it on this one. By people, I'm mostly referring to Simo. Um, but, you know, it happens. Okay, clear coat is going to be the killer here. Yeah. That's it. She's got a little bit of a shine to her. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, subverting expectations goes burr, I guess. <laughs> what a, what an eloquent way you've said that. I think the problem nowadays is everything. Everything is just a rehash of old dribble that people made and the unfortunate thing is the more you keep iterating on old media the more you realize that old media wasn't that good and it's fine if you enjoyed it for what it was but the more you put a magnifying glass on something the worse it looks like things are not just inherently good things are kind of bad and so the more and more we keep obsessing and obsessing and obsessing over what is virtually nothing, the the uglier it gets until it's just bad. And there's just nothing left for us to look at. And it's like, oh, I guess it was bad all along. And it's like, well, it wasn't bad. You're just, you're just obsessively staring at the ugly details. Like, please stop putting a microscope up to everything. Q Transformers. Yeah, like, just let things be good. It's okay if your franchise was really good. Just be done. Just don't make more of it. Why? Why do you have to keep adding? That's the part that, like, really gets me going. Like, can we just be done with this? Um, okay, so I'm going to grab two colors on the backpack real quick because I think the backpack could use a little bit of color. So we're going to do it like that. And instead, I'm going to do like this. And we'll go ahead and add like a bit of a B spline to it and make it look a little bit richer. It makes money. Yeah, I think that's the unfortunate thing. That's kind of the unsung hero, I think, of what is going on right now. Is how bad the economy is. It's one thing to be like, everybody's greedy and they want money. I think it's another thing to be like, 
the average person has less money than they did back in the day. And don't get me wrong, there's very rich people who are taking advantage of that and using it to make more money. And those people, um, I have words for them, um, but it's just like, why? It, 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 it makes sense. It makes sense that people are struggling for money given it the way the world is right now. And so for people to take opportunities, take on movie roles that might be a little less than ideal to um, willingly sacrifice characters that probably shouldn't have been touched in a while. It makes sense to me. I get it. People are struggling for money. People are looking for every opportunity they can to be done, retire, ha be safe from everything. So like it makes it makes sense to me that people are fighting over money, but like I just wish old franchises weren't being destroyed in the process. It's very ugly. Hmm. I'm trying to make this look as soft and velvety as I can, but I'm just getting this like Damascus look. If I go like real high on this thing, what happens? That's more along the lines of what I wanted. This is more of what I wanted. That looks great. Cool, so we'll take you and we'll make you even just a little bit darker. I suppose like if you told me that there was a way that I could be done worrying about money for the rest of my life, I wouldn't sell my soul to the devil or anything crazy like that. But I would definitely perk up. Like it makes sense. I, I there is a time and a place where you got to be like when am I done hustling? But I don't know. I'm never going to stop being critical of people who ruin old media, so I don't exactly know where my opinions lie at the end of the day. All right. That is a pretty solid looking backpack so far. I feel good about this. I might do another double musgrave on here as well. In fact, let's just go for it. We're already here. Let's grab it. Um, we're going to grab you right there, and I'm going to put you on there, and we're going to grab a Musgrave and a Musgrave, and the reason for this is I'm going to make a, like a dirty little, like, yeah, I need it just like that. I'm gonna make it look like it got a little bit wet, basically, and it got dirty. So we're gonna put both of these guys up just a bit to 10, or no, uh, 10, 10, one, 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 one. That look about right. I want one of them to be bigger and one of them to be very small, like 0.5. So you need to be the small one and you need to be the bigger one. There we go, perfect, we've done it. So let's make you two and you can be even smaller, 1.5, perfect, there it is. That's exactly the shape we want right there. And now I can take you and just make you a copy of this color. And then we're going to desaturate you just a little bit and make you much darker. 0 0.07, hello? 0 0.07. Right there. 
If the media stays with people that hold genuine passion for it, it can still be good. Look at Doom, for example. What is Doom? When you say Doom, my immediate um, thing is Dr. Doom. Oh, Doom, the video game series. I understand what you're saying. Yes. For sure. Like, I couldn't agree more. But um, I think the argument of who is good and who is not good gets really messy once people start struggling for money. And that's where I kind of sympathize with people. That's where I'm like, I kind of get why people are so competitive. It sucks. It's not good for the industry, but it does make sense. I do see where it's coming from. Gotta say, I like this bedroll a lot less now that I'm looking at it. Um, 0.15. I kind of just want to make it really subtle. Like that can be all right. Okay, that's not a bad look. Let's go ahead and make that antler. So I'm gonna call this bedroll and does everything have a name? The tortoise shell doesn't. I'll call you torty. Everything else should have a, yep. Cool. Let's go ahead and make your little antler. So let's pull up yet another reference image. Uh, deer antler. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, that's basically exactly what we want. I think I'm going to make just the ugliest mesh we've ever seen. But I have a plan. That little bottom bit is wild. Yep, this is gonna be the one that we use. Okay, please don't be a WebP, it's not. We'll go back to Blender. Also, talking about Doom, I don't know if Doom is like my quintessential feel good franchise. Like the Doom crew definitely cares and they're definitely good people, no problem there. But I don't know if Doom is like the end all be all passionate move because they do like they are money driven for sure the bedroll looks a bit symmetric to me i would desaturate it a bit oh a bit synthetic um yeah we can do that let's go ahead and uh pop it up real quick You know what? I have a different idea for you. Let's go ahead and pop in a bit of color right there. And we'll go ahead and desaturate this one down to 0.3 and 0.3. And this one down to 0.4. And then we're going to B spline all of this. And I really need it to be more um, soft on its edges. I think that's going to be lacrinicity. So let me grab this one and we're going to go 0.35. And looking at the whole thing objectively, I think I just want to go... 0 0.2, 0 0.2, actually 0 0.18, 0 0.15. It's got a little less mm for me. I'm going to up the saturation just a little bit because I do want it to be kind of fantastical. I do want it to look cool. Okay, now this part is gonna have to be 0.45 as well. 
point four seven. That'll do. That's fine. All right, let's make an antler. So I'm gonna hide everything and we're gonna make an antler. I'm gonna do the worst thing you've ever seen. It's what I'm good at. Um, I'm going to make a Taurus first. A Taurus with 0.5. And by that, I mean 0.25. And it'll be nine. And then we'll go into edit mode. Maybe because I own a synthetic red bedroll. <laughs> you really are a, um, a woodsman. Hey, Megan, how's it going? Happy to have you. Did you find us through the art tag or how did you end up finding us here? I was uh, always curious how uh, people end up on the channel. All right, so just for Amazing Barrel, I'm going to do some sculpting, just for you. Um, sculpting is maybe the worst thing that I could be doing because my polygons are gonna be way too high. But uh, just for you, you get a little, you get a little bit. Oh, I know, I know. I'm the best, I know. I also can't bear to think of how else I would do this if we want to be a little bit less uh, altruistic and selfless about this whole thing. It's going okay. How are you? And um, I found you through the art category. Yep, that's about what I expected. Uh, I'm good. I've been... Um, I go from smallest to biggest. Look at you. So you just do your regular old rounds. You're finding all sorts of people. Uh, I'm good. You like small streamers? Uh, I think I prefer to be a small streamer as well. I think, uh, you know, if I made a bunch of money off of Twitch, I certainly wouldn't be complaining. But, um, I don't know. It, I, I can't imagine having a chat where I can't talk to anybody. That would drive me crazy. Like, I'd have to do sub only or, like, go on Discord and talk to my Discord or something. Like... I couldn't imagine not talking to people. That would be so bizarre. The people who put up with that, like, you know, obviously the money is good, good for them, that's awesome, but like, what? I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Just kept looking until I find somebody cool. Well, I don't know if I'm cool or not, but um, we make some interesting stuff around here, that's for sure. We make all sorts of weird junk. Um, right now, just to show you what we're working on, we're making a backpack uh, right here. Oh, it looks weird. There we go. We're making a backpack with a little rusted knife and some leather and all sorts of stuff. Um, and Amazing Barrel has recommended that we make a little antler because they have one in their backpack. So uh, that's what we're doing. Just making a little antler. <laughs> How long have you been here? Have you been here for a sec? Or did you just pop in? Um, that should hold. Oh, it's kind of ugly. Nope, I don't love that. I usually add detail for sculpting by applying subsurface. Um, I mean, I'll definitely do that, but I have a different way that I down res. Um, I'm going to be down resing here in just a little bit, so I'll show you how I do it. It is definitely not professional. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that you are by far probably a better sculptor than I am. This looks like a... It looks like the claw from, like, Alien or something. This is, this is not anything. Okay, let's go ahead and just break off of this. Also, I'm realizing I don't have um, my options. There we go. You thought the same? 
Yeah, it definitely looks like a weird, like, creature's hand. A little bit less of a, uh, claw. Uh, probably Blob is going to be a little bit better for us. So we'll say like that is good. I'm also looking at the time. And um, yeah, no worries at all. Um, if you stick around until 4.30, I'm probably going to start a speed sketch. Um, add a few more in Alien Hard. Just need the pod. <laughs> I, I should make an alien one day. That would be pretty cool. I try to stay away from sci-fi stuff too, too much, but, um... So sci-fi stuff is surprisingly easy to do. Like, we made that Cyberax yesterday, and that's, like, so not my speed. Um, but it does work. All right, so we'll call it there. It is 917 for me. Okay, so you are also European. All Europe chat today. If only we had Simo here, it would be a perfect European chat. Also, looking at this, no. Tell you what, instead I'm going to grab our nudge. And we're going to go like that. We're gonna do the same thing. Yep, we gotta make one little bump on here first. And then I will nudge it. The top piece reminds me of Riddick. Riddick? What about Riddick? Before you changed it. Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. Man, Riddick, what a strange franchise. Vin Diesel, what a weird guy. Okay, so I'm going to say that's about right. We're going to blow this part up. This guy needs to be blocked out a little bit better right there. Ooh, that's not half bad. Let me cut in here just a little bit. And then we should have an antler. And then I'll put on my patented little uh, fix on here and we'll uh, we'll call it a day. Uh, for anybody genuinely curious, my fix is not a good fix. It is very ugly and should never be used by 3D modelers. But uh, I'm not a sculptor, so it is what it is. Okay, so I like to do some clay strips right here like that and then I'm gonna puff up a bunch of the little bits on the end here just like that oh no that didn't work um, Make those weird little knobbly bits that are on the bottom here, and we should be looking pretty smooth. And I could probably, I think, um, material this based on uh, tangents. I think tangents will be the way to do this. So we should be able to call it right here. That should be about right. Honestly, it gets the idea out for me. Out for now, washer dryer calling me, have a good night. Hey, thank you, very appreciated. My, my process for sculpting is usually to make a rough extrusion out of a sphere, loop cut high detail areas such as a face subdividing and then sculpting from there. Um, yeah, I think you're probably a lot better than I am at that. Like I said, my, my process is, I'm a poly modeler for sure. 
There we go. Just to get that little hook, right? I'm only really sculpting just to kind of try it, you know? This is just me sort of playing around, having fun. For serious stuff, I try not to sculpt. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It just isn't how my brain is wired. Um, but I think if you were able to sculpt all of the assets for a game and have the game run kind of smoothly, that would be pretty dope. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into object mode, shade it smooth. Doesn't look half bad. Could use a little bit of a fix. Like that. Let's say 0.75. I don't hate that. It's a little mushy for me, but it should be fine. And there's two ways to do this from here. The easier way, the way that I know how to do it, is to unsubdivide as much as humanly possible. Both of my hands are left when, <laughs> both of your hands are left when you're poly modeling. That's a vibe. That's a big vibe right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll pop out just one of these guys. We're going for it. Cool. So that is, to the best of my understanding, how I would model an antler if I had limited amounts of time. And the geometry on that looks like 2,500. It's a little big for my tastes. Let's model it. Let's, uh, let's give it a real show. And then um, if you all want to think of what you want me to speed model um, for 430, uh, please start posting or start thinking or whatever you got to do to um, get, that, get that in there. Because uh, that's what's next. Okay, so I'm going to add a color ramp. Um, I would very much appreciate if the suggestions were backpack related, something that I could throw on or in a backpack. Um, that is definitely the aesthetic for today, but I'm flexible. We can kind of go off of whatever. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a wave. This is going to be kind of tough, I think. It's going to be a wave, and I think it's going to be based off of tangent. Which tangent? Oh, yep, we did it. Uh, Z tangent on a Y on a Z with one. Nope, not quite. That'll do. Can we find the object of origin? I think it's right here. Hmm. Radial UV map. Nope, we don't want that. We want radial. We'll stick to radial and I'll up the distortion just a little bit to smooth it out. Oh, it looks terrible. Hold on. If I give it a Musgrave, we should get islands, I think. No, it really crunches that one part right there. Hmm. A noise might do the job. Actually, okay, got it. I can do this and we can overlay another noise texture on top of it to round out how sharp that looks. So let's do it like this and we should be smooth sailing. A little bit more on the brown side, a lot more of that. Get these really distinct colors going. 
scale goes way up and instead it is going to be a linear light overlay kind of thing. Hmm. Oh gosh, it's not as good as I want it to be. There we go. Oh, that's much better. It's a little bit less lined than I would like it to be, but it's not terrible. So I'll say like a three or like a two. I think we are in business. Yeah, if I had a little bit more time to think about this, I would probably fix it to one in. Like we would try and resolve it all down here and have it go down. I think I would do that by doing like an empty with a gradient to a wave texture, but we just don't have, actually, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. I think I do have time for that. Shift, right click, origin to 3D cursor. Different idea, different idea. Let's do this. Let's do this. I just realized, I think I know how to do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go shader, gradient, shader, wave, and we should be looking pretty. So I'll go wave, I'll go gradient, I will go objects, perfect exactly what we want and then we're going to what what the heck what is happening what the heck what is this why does it look like this Okay, instead, let's go ahead and put in a mapping node in between these two, and the scale is going to go way up, like 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, there we go. And the scale here can receive a math node. That is going to multiply it by four, by 10. Oh, it's not perfect. Oh, it's not as good as we want it to be. Oh, that's not bad. That's, I think, as good as we're gonna be able to get it, unfortunately. Distortion will get even higher. And then we will lean a little bit more on the white. I'm messing up. I'm freaking out. We'll do like a B spline. I think this might be my best attempt at doing an antler in the amount of time that we have. So let's call it there. That's my best antler for right now. I think it might look a little bit better if we just up the saturation on this guy or up the value and lower the saturation. So 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. All right, so that's my antler for right now. It could be better. We're just gonna call it. What next? What do we want to see next? If we don't get any results, I think I might work on the chain. Every day I'm shoveling. What? Barrel, what are you talking about? Also, I see a lovely little angle here for us. Let's dissolve this face and dissolve this face and click you and where do you go click you there you go let's go ahead and bridge these guys 
that's where we can tie it onto the bag with. And if we don't have any suggestions, I think I will work on the band to tie all this together with. So let's do that. I would hate to put a subdivision on this, but I think it would make it look a lot better. Oh, it looks so much better. It's just too much geometry. I'd have to sit and really edit all this, but we'll leave it here for now, just in case. So let's make some string. I think, I think I know how I can make a string of beads real quick. So let's make some beads. Check this out. We're gonna take our antler and we're going to push you off to the side. And I'm going to make... I'm going to make a... Yeah, a UV sphere. Pretty low res. Probably even lower res than that. That'll be fine. And then we're gonna grab the top of this guy and dissolve it. Bottom, the hottest antler you've ever seen. What are you talking about? <laughs> what on earth? I think I might have to send you to jail. Um. Okay, so here is my thought. I am going to make a string out of these beads. Yeah, it's definitely gonna kill my PC, that's for sure. A string of beads, how am I gonna do this? So here's what I think immediately, and I, I think I've realized that this is a bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, I'm going to grab this bead, and we're going to make an array out of it, and the array is going to be an object offset, and the object in question is going to be an empty. Where is it? Empty. So let's go ahead and click you, click that empty. And if I just keep going, yep, that works. Now the empty is going to be rotated by 18, 18 by 17. No, 18 it is. So we have a string of beads, right? So if I take this and I hit apply. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Undo. Don't apply. We're going to go into edit mode real quick. And I'm going to grab the whole thing and rotate it. 90 degrees to the side. Now, if I go into object mode real quick and I reset it, all transformations, and now I hit apply, we go into edit, we've done it, it's perfect, cool. So I'm gonna do the most annoying thing in the world, it's gonna take forever. Um, but I do have an idea of how this is going to work. So 
So if I string this up correctly, oh, there's such there's going to be such an easier way for me to do this, isn't there? I could do like linear distribution across a curve and it would have looked a lot better than this, I bet. I just don't know how to do that off the top of my head. I'm just going to try this. We're going to do it the wrong way on purpose. That's I'm going to claim that it's on purpose. This is this is now how I'm selling the idea to myself. So, I did this on purpose. And we've basically just made some prayer beads. So, let's all go to church and pray. That looks pretty cool. Oh, it does look cool. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. So, let's look at our physics stuff real quick. Before we get stuck on this, let's just look at the physics. Um, physics would have us use cloth. Property weights, structural groups, shear groups, bending groups, shrinking groups. Hmm. Structural groups. That's interesting. Structural groups is an interesting way to look at this. So let's try that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab all of this, 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 this. Every fifth prayer bead is larger in real life. Why is that? Um, I'm not a very religious person, so I'm not sure I understand why that's the case. Um, we are going to invert our selection. And this is going to be saved as beads. I'm going to hit assign, deselect, select. Hello? Assign. What is happening? It's like an abacus for prayers? What the heck does that mean? Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to go back just a little bit, all the way back to here. I'm going to make a new one, and this is going to be called string. We're assigning string, deselect, select, deselect, select, invert selection, and that is beads. It doesn't make any sense. You can't do inverse selection then, can you? Hmm. New thought. I can trick it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll just try we'll just try it as best as we can. all the way across the board. And I'm gonna hit a sign and we're gonna deselect and select. What is happening? I know exactly what's happening. I know exactly what is happening and it's driving me nuts. I know exactly what's happening. Go to vertices, go to edges. Oh, I know exactly what's happening. That's so frustrating. Okay, now we hit a sign. Come on. <laughs> Ah, 
how are we gonna make this work? Oh, this is so annoying. Why won't it just take it? It like it should just do it based off of face values. So if I just go ahead and I just go like boom, 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 boom. Right, if I just add a little edge loop into all of this, and then I'm gonna grab one of these guys. Boom, 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 boom. And we go select, um, select similar. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, select similar polygon sides, nope. Select similar face map. Why is this? It just won't. In the Catholic churches, it is custom to do a number of prayers at a time. The person praying, praying grabs the next bead at the end of each prayer to keep count. That's kind of haunted. Like, sorry to any religious people out there. That's pretty haunted. Why? Oh, oh, it's so frustrating. Remove. Let's remove and assign. Deselect, select. Come on! My camera's going a little crazy. I'm not sure I know how to solve this problem. I was kind of hoping this would just work itself out, but it seems like it hates me. It's okay, I go to Protestant church. <laughs> uh, you're in the check, right? Um, how How is check for religion? Is it pretty strict? Is it pretty formal? Or is it pretty like whatever people want? Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. We're here. Um, Cause I myself am not a very religious person. Um, that's not true. I do actually have a lot of like, there's a lot of stuff in religion that I care about. Um, but as a whole, I don't really care much for like specific religions. Um, and I'm always interested where like cultural differences come from. Because it seems like we're post-religious here in the United States. It seems like for the most part, religion is very much like an option for people. It's not, um, you're not going to get like hung if you don't practice a religion. Okay, we're gonna call these um, pins. I'm gonna sign, select, deselect, select, deselect, perfect. Okay, so now we can go back to this, go back to here. We're gonna want a couple of pins. Where are pins? Shape, pin group, pins. Collision is gonna be beads. Oh no. It almost worked for a little bit. Max tension, 100, 100. Let's go ahead and end at like 400 frames and reset back to one and let's try it again. What a shame. What a shame. We came pretty close to having like deep, deep structure holding. Um, string is the bending group. Stiffness, let's make the stiffness pretty high. Back to one. It's so heavy. Let's lower the weight on this thing. 
Uh, the mass is going to be like 0 0.05. This could do it. If I stop it early enough too, we won't have a problem at all. So maybe we'll stop it right here. We'll say that's it, sure, this is fine. So I'm gonna take this whole thing. We're going to um, convert where is it? Apply. Make instance real. <laughs> Getting things to apply is always very difficult. Hopefully we don't lose too many frames while I'm doing this. I know there's a way to convert. I just need to look it up. I always struggle with this. Let me look it up real, real quick. Apply physics to Blender. Fake to keyframes, nope, that's like the wrong way to do it. We want to just Blender Physics Static Mesh. Um, when selecting a rigid body object, press Control A Visual Transform. What am I making? Uh, this is gonna be a little keychain for um, some, an antler that we made earlier. This isn't working. Let's do physics. So I'm making basically beads right now. Um, I'm just struggling with like how to make it chill. People can be very polarizing about it here. Most people do uh, do not identify with the church. Most people, uh, but vast majority are not true atheists. As I see it, most folks just don't care if you believe it or not. That's like the ideal circumstance for sure. Um, finalizing physics in Blender. Convert physics to an animation keyframe. Object bake to keyframe. It's like I just did that. That's not what I want. Hold on. We're going to get an answer here in just a second. Everyone says bake to keyframe. That doesn't work. You can't just do that. Um, if I go bake. Because it's not even a rigid body, it's a cloth physics. Oh, so annoying. They always make it so frustrating just to finish. Like I did it, now let me just have it. I just want this. So frustrating. If you make a copy of it, I mean, I can show you what happens. It just keeps the same thing. It doesn't, it doesn't actually like remove the physics or anything. And it doesn't even let me change the object of origin because it's baked now. Um, it's just so frustrating. I do this every time I have to deal with one of these. And it's like, why is there not a button that just says like, finish? Just like, I'm done.
Um, hold on. Let's go blender finalize cloth simulation. There's just no, like, there's no uh, material here. Every time you, like, look this up, there's a bunch of results that are just like, here's how the cloth, like, physics thing works. And it's like, I already did all the physics. That's not what I'm Googling. You can, you can apply the cloth modifier at any time to freeze the mesh in position. You can apply it at any time. What does that mean? This? It's always so easy. Once you figure it out, it's always the easiest thing in the world. There it is. Okay, we're done. Uh, cool. I wish it didn't have to get down to that every single time, but, you know, all's well. So I'm going to remove all of the extra geometry on here, and we're going to get going. I always forget that uh, physics modifiers are technically still modifiers. So seeing them in the, the rack like that is always strange, but something to keep in mind. So if you struggle with that in the future, don't forget to hit apply. I am, I am perfectly willing to be the big dummy in front of everybody who just gets to show everyone how to do it. That is a role I enjoy playing. Hey, perfect, look at this little guy. This is great, cool. So I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna put everything back on. Um, and I can grab this guy, set origin to geometry, make it way smaller. And we got five minutes, so we're looking pretty, pretty keen here. So let's go ahead and rotate it by 90. And we'll rotate it a little bit off of 90 here in just a second, but 90 is where it's at right now. So coming back, coming forward and down. Boom. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna rotate it just ever so slightly. And we're gonna grab our antler and we're going to push him down into position. Nice and up into here. And look at this. We got ourselves a little model. We're gonna have to rotate this guy just a bit to match. And then we should be good. Based. But there we got we got many bastes today. We've had a very based day. Cool, and I kinda like how huge the antler is. So we're gonna keep the antler nice and large. Um, so let's go ahead and finish modeling this little guy. Um we're gonna want to grab this. And I'm gonna go to my nodes. And we're going to give one of them um, rusted metal, or we could have the beads be torties. No, that looks kind of bad. Let's go rusted metal. And then I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna go slot two and while we're here we will go new material and it's going to be assigned to the string which means i have to do something here how do we do this
Where are you? Oh, it's an edit. Yep, it's an edit mode. String select assign. Assign. Yep, that did it. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. So I'm going to hit apply scale. And now we just need to figure out what we want the um, what we want the the string to look like. I kind of think the bedroll is going to be our best answer. That looks so good. Oh, it looks great from a distance. Like that's nothing. That's fine. Oh, she's gorgeous. Mm. Perfect. So what's left to do? Well, there, I definitely want to add stuff to this. I want to put like a pouch on the side here, maybe hang something off the bottom, like a canteen or something. Maybe the canteen will go up here and we definitely need to add straps to it. But um, I'm probably gonna do that offline. I have an idea of what I want to make on Friday. So I think we're done on the backpack for stream. Um, and this is a pretty cool setup. A lot going on here, a lot to look at. So I'm gonna leave this as is for now. We're gonna go ahead and make a save. And I'm going to take a quick little break and then we're going to finish as best as we can. We're gonna finish all of Pyre. I might be on until eight o'clock tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I need to finish Pyre because I am done. We got a new game on Friday. I need to finish Pyre, be done with it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna finish it. So I will be right back after a short break. See you all then. Peace.